Sam from Sheridan Computers, going to be continuing on with our series on Asterisk, and this time we're going to look at how to get SIP trunk connected. Um, telephone system is not much use if you can't make or receive calls, so we're going to go ahead and do that today. If you like this video, please hit the like button, um, consider subscribing to the channel, and if you hit the notifications icon, you'll get the notifications of any new videos as they are released. Um, if you'd like to hire us, please head across to our website at sheridan.co.uk, click on the Hire Us button, fill out the form, leave some details on what you're looking for, and we'll get back to you. So, choosing a SIP trunk provider is um, an important decision. Obviously, you don't want to be getting problems with phone calls dropping. Um, so, who do you use? There's many people that you can use throughout the UK. Um, first come Europe. Um, Gamma is uh, another option. We use Firstcom Europe and I've used them for, God, many, many years. Um, we've used Firstcom for about 10 years. I've never um, had any issues with them. If there have any been problems, they've been sorted out really quickly. Um, so I couldn't recommend these enough. So I can't comment on any other SIP trunk providers. Um, literally, uh, Firstcom Europe, which is vibe.co.uk. They are the only provider um, that, as I say, that I've used in the last 10 years, so I really can't comment on the other ones. So if you want a solid um, platform, go with these guys. They have a good partner program as well. Great, so we're uh, SSH'd into our asterisk box, so let's go ahead and get into the configuration directory, use local access to asterisk. And we have our config files here. Uh, so normally you define your SIP trunks in pjsip.com. I'm going to um, create a separate directory to shove them in. So do ours. Make it our IP and I want pjsip trunks. And I'm going to stick my configuration in there. So let's go ahead and create the configuration file. So do as vi pjsip trunks and we'll call it firstcom.conf. And now we can go ahead and start defining our SIP chunk. Okay, so I'll start defining, creating our configuration in here. I'm going to put a comment at the top so I know what it is. First come Europe, and now we can start defining our trunk. So first come is whatever name that you want to give it, and then we're going to do type equals registration. So we'll set up the registration first. Now we need to specify transport, so transport. E UDP, which is what we set up in pjsip.conf. Uh, outbound off, we need a off. So outbound off equals first com. I'll show you what that is in a second. We need server URI equals, and then this is going to be sip proxy.voip.co.uk. We need to set up the client URI, which is going to be uh, sip call 1234 at proxy.voip.co.uk. So this 1234 is the username that you used to register with proxy.vibe.co.uk. So obviously you'll need to uh, change that. And I'm going to set the retry interval as well. If it drops for any reason, so I'll set that to 60. So next we need to set up the outbound off, which we called it first com. So first com again, let's type in the type equals off. Um, of type equals user pass because we're using username and password and then we want username equals one two three four password five six seven eight so obviously you're going to need to um, change that to match your username and password for your account so let's set up the AOR first come again type equals AOR and then we want contact equals sip on proxy.voip.go.uk and the port number 5060 so now we need to set up the endpoint for it type equals endpoint and we need to tell it what transport to use so transport hyphen UDP and again that's what we referred to in the pjsip.conf we're going to set the context up got it from SIP. So the context is the part in the dial plan, the context in the dial plan where these calls are going to be um, entered. We'll go through that later. Um, then we need to set up codecs. I'm going to disallow them all and I'm going to allow A law, new law. Uh, direct media, 
equals no. Uh, and then we need outbound off equals first come. And I want AORs equals first come. So outbound off equals first come. It's telling it to use this that we've set up here. So the names need to match uh, perfectly. And AORs is telling it to use this here. Um, so the next thing that we need to set up is the identify section. So type equals identify. Then we want match equals, I'll copy this bit here, um, 193.203.210.0. Um, process 23 so so this identify section is identifying our endpoint and we've got match 193.203.210.0 um, now this network address is Firstcom Europe's IP range so if you're using another provider such as um, Gamma for example then you'll need to use their IP range um, not Firstcom's and then we just want to do uh, endpoint equals Firstcom So I'm just going to um, pause this part of the video while I go in and edit and put the correct username and password in there. Okay, I've done that, so now we need to update pjsip.conf to include our configuration. Which I'm going to do here. So here I'm going to put hash include pjsip trunks firstcom.conf. And the other thing that you're going to need to do is to set your public IP address here. Um, so a static IP address does help. So I just put my public IP address in there, so you do need to remember to do that. Um, so now we can go ahead and restart asterisk. To update the configuration. Now if we go and jump into asterisk, if we do PJ sip, um, you can also complete these with question mark. The asterisk functionality and documentation is online, so we want PJ sip show endpoints. So as you can see, we've got our endpoint here, which was a soft phone that we set up on extension two hundred, um, and we've got our first com endpoint. So it's showing first com on my username, which I'll regenerate that. It was just a test one, so that won't actually work. Um, and if we do PJ SIP show registrations, which shows first com SIP proxy .vip .co .uk. Um, first com is registered. So now we should be good and we should be able to make some incoming calls. Go ahead and pull our soft phone up, and if we give that number a call, we should receive incoming calls. There we go, we have an incoming call. So the next step from here is to set up outgoing calls, because we've still not set the dial plan up for outgoing calls, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so to set up Outbound calls, we need to uh, edit our dial plan, which is in extensions.com. So, so edit extensions.com. And I'm going to create a separate contact for this. I'm going to create a context called outbound, like so. So to call it, right. And we need to create an extension. So we need to use pattern matching because um, setting up to dial an external number, we need to be able to match the number that we dial them with. It's an extension as such. So I'm going to do extend um, underscore, which starts pattern matching. Uh, and then I want to match basically 11 digits. So let's do underscore 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So that'll match our number. I'm going to do log. Notice external call from dollar caller ID num to extend. Now that's an uh, internal asterisk variable, so is that, which is obviously giving us the uh, 
caller ID of the extension that is making the call to the number that is being called. So that's just to make it easier for us to see what's happening on the dial plan, uh, on the asterisk console. And the next thing you need to do is to, to, to dial the number. So, sorry, next step, dial and we want PJ SIP because we're using PJ SIP to dial via. Um, and then we want our telephone number that we dial in. This is there at first com. And we'll ring it for 25 seconds. Um, so this first com is obviously the name that we defined the SIP chunk earlier in pjsip.com from telling it to dial for 25 seconds. But what happens if it's not answered? Then we need some congestion. And we'll just hang up the call. So now we need to reload our asterisk dial plan. So go into asterisk, issue a dial plan, reload. And we should now be able to call our office. Which is fine. So the extension can't be found. And um, so we created a context and I don't think I included the context. No, I didn't. So we created this uh, outbound context and like we did with the features, we need to include that in our extensions. So we do include and then outbound. Which is why it couldn't be found, which basically just includes that whole, that whole section into here. Now go back into asterisk. Issue another dial plan reload, and we should be good to go. And there we go. Hello, and thank you for calling Sheridan Computer. Your IT So we can now make calls, and we can receive calls. I hope that helps. Um, if you like this video, um, I know it was a bit in depth and I do plan to do some more videos on um, dial plans and more advanced features of Asterisk. If you do like this video and you found it useful, please go ahead and hit the like button. If you consider subscribing to the channel as well. Also, if you press the notifications icon, you'll get the notifications of any new videos that we do and as they are released. Um, if you'd like to hire us for any projects, such as PBXs for example, head across to our website at sheridan.co.uk and click on the Hire Us button.